Hey guys, so I have five juice reviews for you today. Then they're from this American based company called Drake's Vapes. And then the five juices are Alchemist, Vanilla Trifecta, Chai Town, Melon Fiasco, and YOLO. Now, all these juices that I have are of a 50 50 PG VG mix ratio, 1 half 12 milligrams. And you can pick one of these bottles up at vapegoddess.net, which is spelled as V A P E G O D D E W -S, S dot net. And they go for 15 US dollars per 30 ml bottle. Now, the bottles will come in this nice, like, cobalt blue bottles. And you will also find the flavor profile actually printed on the side of the labels, which is a really nice touch, in my opinion, as not many juice companies actually do this. So, anywho, let's first start off with YOLO. Now, YOLO is described on a website as lemonade with hints of lavender. Now, I currently have mine in my Pure with a 0 0.8 ohms coil and 3 to 5 straw mesh. So, here goes. So, you get great clouds of this e liquid. Now, I tried all these juices on both a high wattage setup like my Genesis Atomizers, and on a low wattage setup in which I dripped into a 510 dripping atomizer from about 7 watts to 10 watts. On a high wattage setup, I had a sweet but kind of somewhat faint lemonade flavor on the inhale with this burst of like lemonades on the exhale. Now this lemonade I found um, is kind of like melted together with like the lavender flavor. However, rather than actually getting a perfumey vape, this lavender actually comes off much more as like a sweetness with a touch of like floralness in it and it is only through the exhale through the nose in which you kind of are able to like smell the aroma of like the lavender in this vape. Personally and admittedly I did, I was initially a bit skeptical about this vape as like lemonades and lavender are kind of like a really unlikely mix. However, they actually work surprisingly well as the vape in my opinion is actually a really unique vape and it's also really refreshing which is a huge thumbs up to me. Throat hit for this e-liquid was really nice and strong as you get this nice strong kick at the back of your throat however there was no like coarsey feeling after like vaping it. On a low wattage setup pretty much the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup. So next up is vanilla trifecta. Now, Vanilla Trifecta is described on the website as a trifecta of vanillas and custards with a hint of magic. Now, I currently have mine in my Bliss with a dual coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms. So, here it goes. Now you get average vapor production of this e-liquid. On a high wattage setup, you get a light creamy vanilla on the inhale with a strong robust like vanilla custard flavor on the exhale. I like this vanilla custard a lot as unlike other vanilla custard flavors that are out there, it is not eggy and the vanilla that's being used in it is kind of like a mix between that of a traditional earthy kind of vanilla and a sweet creamy vanilla that you find in a vanilla ice cream for example. So it's really interesting as you kind of get like the whole sense of like earthiness with like sweetness in it with a touch of like custard as well which makes it to be a really nice vanilla custard babe in my opinion. Throat head for this e-liquid however I found to be rather mild as you do not quite get the same kick at at the back of the throat as you did with like YOLO which I was a bit disappointed in. On a low wattage setup, pretty much the same flavor profile as that to a high wattage setup except the creaminess of the vanilla I found actually tended to like come out just a tad bit more on a low wattage setup as compared to that of a high wattage setup. So next up is Chai Town. Now Chai Town is described on the website as a smooth and creamy vape of chai. So I currently have mine in my Juggernaut with a 0 0.8 ohms coil and 3 5 straw mesh. So here it goes.
to get great vapour production of this e-liquid. Now, on a high wattage setup, you get sweetness on the inhale with like full blown chai on the exhale. I was really impressed by this as I like chai tea a lot and this does not taste like a chai latte or like any chai with like milk added in it at all but rather it actually tastes like that of a chai tea that you can find at like a Lebanese store or like an Arab restaurant for example really great chai really great translation of like a chai tea to like a chai vape in my opinion good throat hit you do feel like this really great thump at the back of your throat with like no like coarsey feeling after and on a low wattage setup once again same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup so next up is melon fiasco now melon fiasco is described on the website as if a cantaloupe loving a watermelon is wrong, we do not want to be right. So I currently have mine in my iHybrid with a 0 0.8 ohms coil and 305 straw mesh. So here it is. So you get great vapor, great vapor of this e-liquid once again. On a high wattage setup, add sweet watermelons on the inhale with a really nice melding of like cantaloupes and like watermelons on the exhale. Now I use the word melding in this as the two melons in this vape actually blended together as one. So you can't quite tell where the cantaloupe start or like where the watermelon starts or end. It definitely falls into like the natural food category for this and if you're looking for like a real real like unique melony mix, definitely check this out as this melon mix, personally, I was not expecting like the two melons to be blended into like one flavor. So it was a really nice like refreshing kind of like melon take to like cantaloupes and like watermelon vapes in fact. On a low wattage setup, once again pretty much the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup. The road hit for this e-liquid, however, I found to be like that of vanilla trifecta as I did not quite get the same like nice kick at the back of the throat as I got with YOLO for example and I definitely would have liked to have seen a bit more um, throat hit of this e-liquid. So next up is Alchemist. Now Alchemist is described on the website as a unique blend of fruits and absinthe. So I currently have mine in my synthesis with a 0 0.8 ohms coil and 3 to 5 straw mesh. On a high wattage setup, I had Sambuca-like flavor on the inhale. And if you do a straight lung hit, there is actually a sense of like a slight coolness right at the end of your like right at the back of your throat. The exhale I found to be like this strong burst of like the same Sambuca flavor that you get on, a, on the inhale. However, there is a sense of like sweetness that is included in this exhale. And I'm guessing that this sweetness can actually be attributed to the fruits that are in it as well. Now it did take me quite some time to actually get a rough sense of what fruits are in this. However, I'm guessing that the main fruit in this vape is that of a kiwi simply due to like the sweetness and the tartness that I get from it at the same time. And right at the end of the exhale, right at the back of your throat, there is also a kind of like a slight green apple flavor that's rather faint in my opinion as overall the Sambuca flavor actually kind of like tends to like overpower the fruits in this vape just a tad bit. Would have liked to have seen the fruits um, come out just a tad bit more personally. I like this juice a lot actually as this is going to be really hard to describe as while you do get the same kick and like the same like flavor explosion of like a Sambuca flavor in it, the fruits in it also kind of like mix, kind of like mellows down the Sambuca flavor as well as as compared to like other Sambuca vapes that are out there in the market, this has the potential to actually be an all-day vape simply due to like the way 
the fruits managed to like cut the overall sambuca flavor. And I like that aspect as there are not many um, sambuca like all day vapes that are currently out there. Throat head for this e liquid, however, I found to be like that of vanilla trifecta and melon fiasco as it is kind of mild as you do not quite feel the same kick at the back of your throat, however, you know it's there as it's really smooth. But yeah, would have liked to have seen more throat hit, especially on a Sambuca vape. On a low wattage setup, once again exactly the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage setup. As if the exo is much sweeter and you kind of are able to taste like the sweetness of the fruits just a tad bit more on it. Overall, really impressed by like Drake's vape. Um, really great bang for the buck at 15ml for a 30ml bottle. That you definitely cannot argue with the flavor as it's really good. I would have given like this juice a full on straight thumbs up. Except Melon Fiasco Vanilla Trifecta and Alchemist I found to be just a tad bit short in terms of throat hit. But if you like smooth and like mild throat hits, definitely check these three out. These three um, e-liquids out as the flavors are really good. Yolo and um, Yolo and Chai Town, great throat hit. But just would have liked to have seen the other three just shining out a bit more in terms of throat hit, if that makes sense. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace!